treasure upon treasure upon treasure. How do we get money? How do we get like anything valuable in this world? Let's talk about that. Yeah, good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday, Arizona Diet Green Tea. Not a sponsor, but good stuff right there. So, oh, Grace Community Church, a sponsor. How do we get money? How do we get stuff? How do we get um, anything? Well, first of all, we have to have this idea. you either with God and you have the stuff to bring Him glory and share it with others, even your enemies. Or your worldview is, it's my stuff, my house, my money, my treasures, my riches. So it's okay to be a poor Christian, and it's okay to be a rich Christian, as long as you're using what you have for God's glory. Um, and really, uh, we're supposed to be sharing with the poor anyway. So it's supposed to be this whole idea of sharing and, and bringing people in. And sharing helping. is caring. Sharing is caring. So when we say about treasures, um, you know, God says um, it's the love of money that brings evil. If we put money in front of God or we put anything in front of God and we love that more than God, then yes, that's an idol. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. Now, that doesn't say we can't have money. It's just how we use it or where the intentions or where the heart is. Okay. So I want to make that clear before we get into this. So in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2, and here we go. Here's... He's going to, from this point on in Proverbs, so we spent nine chapters. He spent nine chapters in saying, this is wisdom and this is folly. Wisdom, you follow, you get life. Folly, you follow the seductive woman of folly or foolishness, you're going to die. You're going to have trouble. You're going to have all kinds of pain. And we're warning you ahead of time. Now, from Proverbs chapter 10 on, it's all about wisdom. And they'll, they'll, they'll talk about one little line of the scripture and will say something about wisdom and the other one will say about folly. Or it will say folly and then give you wisdom. So it could try to explain itself as it goes. So it gives you two options. This is the folly way. This is the wisdom way. Okay? So I just want to warn you that from Proverbs 10 to the end of the book is all about wisdom and folly. It, it sets it up anyway through the first nine chapters. So here we go. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit. Okay, if you're wickedly trying to get treasures, if you're even poor or the rich can be both greedy. If they're they're seeking money above all other things, then that's still greed. It doesn't matter how much you have, it's what you're longing after. And so... Um, if you're getting it by wicked means, like stealing or, or stepping on other people to get money or to, uh, uh, you know, lie to them to get money, to, to circumvent the, the system, to, to wickedly gain um, treasure uh, by lying or stealing or hurting, then that's wicked gains. And it will fall. Okay, it might take 20, 30, 40, 100 years, but it will eventually fall because you, you can't keep up the lie. You can't keep up the hurting. Eventually, people will stop buying your stuff. Eventually, you're gonna, your reputation is going to be messed up or you're going to be a, a show on Netflix um, and you're going to be ruined for life. So it, it, it might pro profit in the beginning. The foolishness might profit in the beginning, but in the end, you're, you're going to be totally... And even if nobody catches you, who, who knows your heart? God. So it's always going to end up in ruin. And the good thing is that then he says the next verse, but he, he says, but righteousness or being right with God or being in God's sight as right uh, through God's sight, not ours, because it's God's power and God's wisdom. But righteousness delivers from death. It literally um, delivers you from spiritual death. Um, and a lot of times physical death because you're not getting beat up because you lied to people trying to get their money. Uh, we uh, saw the show um, Firefly or what? oh fire something. But they he lied to all these people. They went to this island 
for a and party. For a party, and it was like three days literally of hell. And they were trying to get off the island, and it was, it was crazy. And he got sued, he got put in jail, and now he's out of fire jail. Fire Festival. Fire Festival. And now he's doing Fire Festival 2. You think really people... But people are still buying tickets. I don't, I don't understand. But eventually, if he's lying, he's going to get caught again. I don't know how you live in that, that system. If you're right with God, it doesn't matter how much money you have. But if you're right in God, then you're going to use your money for his glory. And that's awesome. It doesn't matter how much you have. It's what you do with that money. And I think this is an awesome scripture, even for a day in, in America. We need to understand this. Um, that treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death, delivers from punishment, delivers from shame, from guilt, from lying to people. The, the interesting thing about lying is that you have to tell the same lie over and over again and remember it. If you tell the truth, you really don't have to remember it because it's universal. Truth is universal. It, it stays. You don't have to memorize it. You just tell the truth. Um, and so my encouragement for you today is are you using your money wickedly? Or are you using it for righteousness? That's the choice. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. You have a great day. Don't do something foolish. Stay wise. Love you, bye.